that ships on PCs is the same core browsing engine that will ship on phones. And that's great news for consumers, because it means they'll get a great smooth experience like you see on Fish IE here. It's also great news for developers, because it means when website developers create a site, if it works well on the PC, it'll work well on Windows Phone as well. And I want to give you a little bit of a comparative example. This is the Fish IE page. Same page you saw in the video on the desktop, except modified for a phone screen. Other than that, same idea. This is running 50 Fish. And I want to show you how much this hardware acceleration really matters. I'm going to pull this down, and by way of comparison, I've got an iPhone 4 here running the current build of Safari. And the Safari web browser is not taking advantage of hardware acceleration, so you really get a sense for how dramatic the difference is when we use the full power capability of the device. You saw it on the PC, you've tried it yourself if you've downloaded i9, and now you can see the difference on the phone. So, that is a first real-world example of the performance difference. Now, I'm going to uh, use IE9 here and navigate over to another site and just give you another example of what you saw in the video. Uh, one of those sites that was shown in the video, and all those sites you can try yourself if you download IE. All those sites in the video are part of the um, IE9 test drive site. And one of the ones you saw was IMDB. So this is a mock-up of an HTML5 IMDB site that uses animations and rich user experience. And I want to show you how it looks and feels very smooth, just like what you saw on the desktop. I can touch these movies and navigate around. I can push the play button. And because the hardware acceleration makes this experience so smooth, the user, although they've just visited a website, it's almost indistinguishable from the experience you would get running a client app on the device. Um, now, similarly, one of the other things that's cool about this, let me move my way around the carousel again here, um, is that the HTML5 standard supports a wide range of things, but one of the more valuable and important ones it supports is native support for video. Lots of websites today use Flash or other plugins to implement video on websites. And in our case, we don't support many of those sites. But with IE9 and its standards-based support for the video tag, sites like this IMDB site enable native support for video just using HTML. So in this case, I'm going to touch the item for Despicable Me. We're going to hit the web service here, the website, start downloading this video and playing it. You'll see in just a second if we still have our connectivity. You'll see uh, streaming H.264 video in high definition. And maybe we don't have enough connectivity for you to actually see this. But trust me, we typically would show streaming high definition H.264 video. I'm going to actually go back and try that one more time and see if we get lucky on the second try. And we're not going to get lucky on the second try. Well, unfortunately, that didn't work. As I said, this is preliminary, not final code. We'll get all these kinks worked out before we ship and make it available to users. 